Majirai is considered the spiritual capital of Tamil Nadu and its heart is the magnificent Meenakshi Temple. In addition to this beautiful temple, we visited the Gandhi Museum, the Thirumalai Palace and sampled some special Majirai treats. Today we are off to Majirai. Yep, it's the, to the southwest, it's quite far, which means a six to seven hour bus ride. Now it says it'll take about six and a half to seven hours, but we read from the reviews that it's often a couple of hours late. The first challenge we had to come to the local bus office and then get a smaller bus to the big bus station about an hour out of town and then join our big bus to get down to Madura. Could be a fun day. It's a little bus to get to the big bus. Well, if this bus line is representative of what we can expect in India, we're going to do really well. I mean, it's booked with a day's notice after we cancelled our first one. It's cheaper than our first one, and the service has been great, and the condition of the bus has been great. And they reckon we're on time. We'll see. How about that bus journey? <laughs> it was long, but to be honest, it was super comfortable. The only problem with those big intercity buses is they drop you a long way out of town. So you still get another five or six k's to navigate to get to your hotel. And this city is absolutely pumping. Just outside our window seems to be a couple of little amazing street food vendors, so we might go check them out. We found this cart that has got heaps of beautiful marinated fresh chicken, and you can get a plate of boneless chicken for 50 rupees and it's super super tasty with some lime juice and some fresh onion. Absolutely delicious. I've got a paneer dosa. Kel has a the first okay. time we've seen it. A gobi dosa or cauliflower dosa. But these look fantastic. It's been a massive day on the bus. Totally time to eat it and beat it. Town looks awesome. Can't wait to explore tomorrow. Majurai is treating us very well. We did a bit of research last night and it turns out that Majurai is a foodie capital of India. So as well as visiting museums and temples and the normal tourist things, we're probably going to eat quite a lot of street food over the next few days. About five meters outside our hotel we found onion bhajis. They look amazing. Oh, I've seen their onion bhajis. So you remember when you were a kid and you used to do like all the puzzles and um, solving different problems and codes? I used to love that as a kid and it turns out those skills come in handy here when you're trying to figure out the train system in India. It could take us a little while. That's cancelled. Yes. Yeah, but you said the 4.15? Uni. No, no, morning? morning? 74 people waiting for it. Okay, thank you. So it turns out the train that we came to get tickets for, which is in two days, is cancelled. Mm -hmm. And the next best train, which left at 4 o'clock in the morning, is full. And... There, there are 74 are... people waiting for seats on it. So we might be taking the bus. We have just visited the Manakshi Shunaraswara Temple here in Madurai in South India. Now unfortunately they are incredibly strict about mobiles, uh, phones, everything like that. So there will be no imagery from inside this beautiful, beautiful temple. It is one of the largest and most significant in the whole of India. It's right in the heart of town, really vibrant uh, around the temple itself. For Hindu uh, people, Hindi people, they can queue for hours to get into a special area where they do their own um, worshipping. For foreigners, there's still a huge amount to see. Beautiful inside, whole thing's carved, amazing paintings. There's also a small museum inside a huge thousand pillar temple. 
or thousand column temple which is truly impressive this is an absolute must do if you're in Majorai it's 100 rupees per person 50 for the 50 for the museum and both are really worthwhile we are so impressed we came here and it is such a beautiful evening that is a great start to the day not the chutney on my glasses the chutney in my tummy it is a beautiful day in Madura it's going to be warm today so we're heading out to Te Te Hotel and we've got about 13 hours until our bus leaves tonight yeah this is going to be a massive day we would never plan it like this but the paucity of uh, trains and good buses means we have a midnight bus tonight ouch so we've grabbed a coffee and a samosa we're going to go and find some lunch hit the Gandhi museum and go and see the palace looking forward to the day right now we're seated right here Just, yeah. found a bakery looks good Perfect. thank you Right. What did you find? Look at that. Uh, it's a free bun. It's very sweet and soapy. Good. Uh, acquired taste. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> oh, that's yum. That's good, is it? Nice. is definitely enjoying his cheap and delicious coffees in India. They're made with super hot and frothy milk and they're, apparently they're delicious. I have to learn to intercept the sugar though, just to get it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You say hi? Hi. Go. <laughs> How's the coffee? Coffee is very tasty. <laughs> well, those guys were very nice. They introduced themselves as policemen and we thought, okay, okay, that's cool. No, they're retired, but they're policemen. <laughs> that was super lovely. Is there, if there's one thing about this country we've learned the last two weeks, is that people are more friendly than any, any other place I have ever traveled. Yeah, definitely. It is amazing. There are like tuk-tuk drivers that will pull up to you and not even ask you if you want to ride, but literally say hello and welcome to India. It's even, amazing. Even though their passengers are in the back. <laughs> yeah. We have found the Gandhi Memorial Museum here in Madurai. It is one of the three main attractions in the town. It's free, which is unusual. Uh, it's a, a beautiful 17th century temple and uh, it's on huge big palatial park grounds. We're really looking forward to a look round. We've just spent about an hour in the Gandhi Museum, which is inside this uh, 17th century Nayak Palace behind me. It's quite neat. It's got a really detailed uh, description of uh, the route to India's independence from Britain, a lot on Gandhi's involvement in that. There is a fair amount of reading, but it's really clear from the, from the pictures, the reverence that he's held in, in this country. It was a really neat experience. Thank you. No worries. We're off to check out the palace. We are currently exploring the Thirulai Nayak Palace. It was built in 1636 and it was named after the king at the time. It is huge and apparently only a quarter of the original palace still remains. There are sort of three buildings. The main one is this enormous court that's open air, huge white pillars, beautiful innate ceilings. It's really cool. And there's also a room where they used to hold dances and that's more ornate and it's got a roof and a small museum in it. Well worth a look. So good. Now the food 
there looked amazing and you got 100 grams of his amazing fried cauliflower for 20 rupees. So we got two. Mm. It's missing some of the spice and red onion we'd normally have with it, but it's like half the price, so it's really good. This is a pav bhaji, two buns chopped in half, fried with tons of butter. Then you got a masala mix with lots of water to thin it out, so it would soak, be soaked up by the bread. Piece of lime for a garnish and lots of red onion because we're in India. It looks awesome. This one's a masala puri, which means a whole lot of puri crushed up at the bottom and then it's topped with like a chickpea masala, red onion, some carrots and herbs and spices and a whole lot of sauce. It's delicious and it's 20 rupees, a great snack. Delicious. So we have what's called a curry dosa or a mutton dosa. So it's a, a bread on the bottom and then there's a layer of, I think it's egg, and then there's a layer of mutton mince. Oh yeah. That's really good. It's really spicy. We're back at the palace to see the evening light and sound show. And the loyal labour of thousands of artisans have all fused together for the creation of this magnificent house. All his land should thrive with undying fame and unfading prosperity for all time to come. Check out my industrious fiance doing some vlogging as we wait for our yeah. midnight bus ride. Which just got delayed by 20 minutes. It gives us 20 more minutes. 